Hey, hey, what's up? I'm back. This is the uh, old Walbro carburetor that came off the little home light chainsaw. And I swapped out the throttle shaft so that the linkage would work. And uh, obviously it will go in like this. You got to take the little E-clip off the end, which isn't that hard. Just use a couple of flathead screwdrivers. But then, this is what's weird. As my old boss would say, this is what's got me baffled. Um, this one, this is the new one that came out of the new carburetor. I had to put the old shaft in the new carburetor, right? Well, this, the old shaft fit in the new carburetor fine, but this one's, this shaft is bigger. I'm measuring like 195 thousandths on this, and these holes, it's hard to measure, but I'm getting around 88, 89. Wait a minute, I did that wrong. I don't want to be lying to you here. Yeah, that's right. 195,000. So the hole I'm measuring 188, 189,000. So if you needed to put this back together and reuse it, which I think I could now, I think I fixed the primary problem. Um, thanks to Zombie Dave. You could drill this hole out to 330 seconds, and that would put you very close. Uh, you might could then ream it out if you had a ream, the right size reamer. Um, but you don't want to go any bigger than 330 seconds. In theory, you could grind this off and take the steel off and turn it down a thou or two and polish, sand and polish it till it fit just perfect. But, uh, anyway, that's what I had to do. This part is a pain. This part is a a booger obviously when you're putting it back together um, it just takes patience just be patient it'll come loose and give you a nice little love bite but um uh, yeah wall row carburetor so i think the main problem let me zoom in here thanks to zombie dave in tucson whoops i think the main problem was the clogged little holes, three clogged little holes clogged in the uh, welch plug. And I used Zombie Dave's technique, automatic center punch, and it came out pretty easy. Oh wow, I've stuck it back in there. There you go. Probably can't see this, but there are three tiny, tiny holes right there. And I used a very fine old guitar string. I wish if I knew more about anything I learned to play on guitar, I forgot. Um, and I measured this guitar string. It's like 17 thousandths of an inch. So the holes in there, not much bigger. And you can see it come through. I don't know if you can see that. Whoops, lost it. Come on. And I fixed a, a, a bigger small engine, four-stroke, with a bigger carburetor, the kind with the float bowl on it. Same problem. Exact same problem. You will not be able to see what it is that's plugging these, but you'll feel it when you put that thing in there. And you'll feel it break loose. So that one goes through, and you can see it. I don't know where these go. About the same thing. It's easier to see. I got the throttle shaft out. And the third one. About the same thing. Those three holes. Wait a minute. Is that how that works? Okay, those are just three holes in a row. I guess it aids with uh, idle and part throttle. So, anyway. Yeah, that works fine. I, if I just had some more Welch plugs, probably be good to go. Um, the, the new carburetor didn't come with the spring, so I took the spring off the idle screw. Sorry. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah. That's about it, I think. Um, yes, sir, Reed. Thanks again, Zombie Dave in Tucson. And, uh, Bear with me just a moment. I'm going to move this camera.
Mm. Keep rocking with Dockin' or Tesla.